Hi lovely people, we're going to do another Pilates session now. I'm going to do a half an hour workout and it's going to be full body, mixed ability. Any injuries or anything, please feel free to go to see your GP first or email me with any questions. Um, I'm going to be using the soft Pilates ball and also some resistance bands. I've gone for the Meglio uh, version because they're latex free so I can use them with all of my clients. Special shout out to the David Lloyd girls. Okay, I really hope you enjoy. We're going to start off standing in the middle of our mat. We're going to bring our feet together and roll the shoulders down our spine. Lengthen through the back of the neck and set our feet. Turn our toes out, a little bit like Charlie Chaplin, and then turn the heels out into that alignment as well. And to start off with, we're going to do some simple shoulder rolls. Breathing in to bring the shoulders up to the ears and breathing out on the way down. And again, breathing in to bring the shoulders up to the ears and breathing out on the way down. And we do one more of those. Really relax, not your elbows, just the shoulders. Bend with a full arm. Turn your hand to the top, leave with a little finger on the way down. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. So we're gonna let the chest lift on this one. Really start to work into that rib cage, into those intercostal muscles. Breathing in on the lift, breathing in on the way down. And float the hand up to our dumb waiter. You can take the hand out, and gently let them in again. Breathing out and breathing in. You can imagine we've got a little satsuma tucked in between our elbow to our waist. We don't want to drop that satsuma, we also don't want to squash it too hard. Just keep it nice and safe there, stretching out into your Cleopatra. Bend the palms to the ceiling, draw the elbows in and bring the hands back from the door. We're going to open the hands, stretch and turn the palms. Palms to the ceiling as you reverse. Two more. Breathing out to stretch behind you. Breathing in to rest the arms to the start position. Last one. Breathing out. Now keep the palms there. Palms down. Small circles. Five, four, three, two, one. And reverse that circle. Five, four, three, two, one. And palms to the front. Bring the hands together just to shoulder height as you stretch up into that capital Y stretch, releasing just to shoulder height. Breathe out to open and breathe in to come back. Now the reason we're going to breathe out to open is that every time you breathe out, we're going to try and tuck the rib cage down, flattening it towards your pubic bone. Breathing out, set the ribs, breathing in to release the ribs. Breathing out to soften the ribs. Breathing in. And now bow and arrow. Will you pull back, looking behind you and reaching forward. Pulling back and reaching forward. We want to keep the hips pointing forward. So all this turn is coming from our upper spine. And we'll do two and one. And I'm going to keep your shoulders, hands at shoulder height, as we float the heels up and gently lower them down. Floating the heels up and gently lowering them down. Now hands and heels up, hands and heels lower. Try to not put the heels down in between. Try to keep the heels just hovered off the floor. And again, we'll go for a breathe in to lift and a breathe out to lower and hold it there. So the heels are just off the floor and we're going to do a knee bend. Now at any point here, you want to put the knees uh, sorry, the heels back on the floor. Please feel free to do so. But we're going to go through some knee bends. The hands are up at shoulder height just to help maintain balance. And we'll drop down for one last one before we drop the heels and drop the hands and relax. Go for some roll downs now, which are going to be a chin to the chest, shoulders roll forward and sink down all the way to the floor. Before you unroll yourself all the way back, shoulders second to last, head up last. One more time, chin down, shoulders second, fold through the spine, gently roll up, shoulders back and then head up. Do a left shoulder roll, a left side lean and just fold yourself down the side, swing to the middle and roll up through that straight line. Other side, right shoulder roll, right side lean, 
fold down the outside of the body, swing to the center, and roll up in that nice straight line. We're gonna go to the edge of the mat, facing long ways, feet hip distance apart, and we're gonna roll down to a four point kneel. So relax the shoulders, lift the back of the neck, breathe in, and as you breathe out, let's roll down to the floor, hands down as the knees soften, walk the hands forward and relax your toes down to begin with. Let's warm up the spine a little bit more with a cat stretch. Tuck the chin in, float the breastbone up and tuck your tailbone under. And just release it down to our neutral spine. We're going to breathe in to stretch the breastbone up, breathe to nice and release it down again. Last one, just a stretch through the spine and down. Now we're going to get the back of the neck reaching up to the ceiling. Really, really tuck that chin in before we go for a swimming level four with just one arm and the opposite leg with a beautiful stretch and a rest down. So opposite arm, opposite leg to stretch and down. Now we want to make it a really big uh, heat reach rather than lift. We want to maintain a beautiful lower back. That's a neutral lower back. Breathing out to stretch, breathing in to come back. And one more. Now we're going to go a little bit further now. Reach and hold. Now we're just going to tap the toe down and lift. Tap the toe down and lift. We want to keep the arm up. Tap the toe down and lift. We'll do five quite slow and then five with a pulse. Still trying to maintain a really strong back and a really strong body and rest. Other side, stretch out. Five and up. Four and up. Note my back isn't moving anywhere. Still got a lovely strong back of the neck. Setting my centre as I go. And with a five, four, three, two, one, pulse, finish. And just sit back into a little child pose stretch for a couple of seconds to rest. Just really let the body rest down. Take your knees wider if you feel comfortable. You are going to have your head down the whole time now. If you can, put your forehead to the floor. And just roll your, your neck gently side to side. Really think about letting your belly button drop down to the floor as you just give yourself a little moment to stretch out. Fantastic. We're going to come back up to a four point kneel now and work in through some leg prone exercises. So we're going to tuck the toes under. We're going to make sure that our shoulders are directly over our wrist, but we've still got that really lovely high rib cage and neutral lower back. Let's set our centre and just float the knees just gently off the floor before we release them back down again. Now for some of you this might be just enough. Push back through the heels. Try to take as much weight on the toes as you can. Not too much through those lovely spread fingers and down. If you're comfortable to take it further, let's go for some heel flicks. One heel at a time comes up to the bum. And again, the aim is to keep the rest of the body really strong, really still. And we'll go for six, five, four, three. Normal breathing, two and one. And gently rest down again. Just sit back on your heels for me. Quick little rotation of your wrists. Just make sure they're nice and comfortable because we haven't quite finished here yet. We're going to go back to four point kneel, but this time we're going to take our hands just further in front of our shoulders and just half a hand slightly wider. So when we tuck the toes under this time and go into a downward dog, we've got a slightly um, more safe shoulder position. So our downward dog is straightening the knees lifting your bottom in the air and dropping the chest through your arms and we can take a breath in to hold that position and breathe out to lower back down again and again we're going to breathe in to prepare we're going to breathe out to lift into the downward dog breathe in to hold and breathe out to come down again let's do that two more times just starting off moving through the shoulders stretching the back of the legs if you feel comfortable to Push those heels towards the floor, and this time we're going to hold ourselves there. Just going to open up the hips a little bit more, 
We're going to bend one knee in, stretch that leg to the ceiling, and then gently put the foot down. Double check the chest is low as you bend the other knee. Lift the leg straight to the ceiling, and then lower it back down again. One more to each side. Bend the knee, stretch the leg, drop the toe. Last one. Bend the knee, stretch the leg, drop the toe. Last breath out, so get that extra stretch before you lower down. And again, a very quick child pose stretch. Head down, rested here. Really get your breath back and just feel comfortable where you are right now. Sit yourself back up. Let's let those wrists have a rest. We can lay onto our backs now. So again, gently take yourself around. Bottom into the middle of your mat. I'm going to take the ball under my head for comfort. You put a pillow or a cushion or even just on the floor for now, that's fine. Head down and then feet in to a nice little crooked lion position. Nice, easy, neutral. So again, it's not beginners, so I'm expecting you to be aware of your centre, aware of your neutral pelvic position. So just be aware of that the whole way through. We're going to go for a one leg stretch, level three. But at any point, you can put one foot down to make it level two. So we can take one leg to a single leg tabletop. We're going to set our centre a little bit deeper through the ribs to bring that second leg up to meet it. Still hip distance apart with those knees. And we're going to reach forward 45 degrees and back into tabletop. Breathe out to stretch, breathe in to return. Breathing out to stretch, breathing in to return. I'm just going to keep on going nice and gently. And let's focus on the pelvic floor a little bit here as well. So imagine drawing that pelvic floor up towards your belly button. Maintaining that nice soft rib cage, almost pressing your breastbone, your bra strap, or where you wear a heart rate monitor, straight down into the mat. And we'll go for a couple more on each side. So it's going to start making that lower abdominal area, that centre area work quite hard. And one more to each side. Just a nice big stretch, full lock through that knee and return. Let's make it a little bit more challenging by taking those hands up to the ceiling. Melt those shoulder blades down to the mat and away from your ears. So this time as both, leg, as both arms go behind you, halfway, the leg stretches and back. Breathing out to open, breathing in to come back. And again, we're just going to keep on going on your breath pattern. So it might be faster than mine, it might be slower than mine. That's why we're not counting them out so strictly. Hands are only going just behind our vision, not going to the floor. That means we would have lost our shoulder position. And again, let's just go for a couple more, whatever feels comfortable to you on your breathing. And then hug the knees into the chest when you're done. And you could do a couple of little knee hugs and little knee rolls in and out. Absolutely fine. Doesn't matter right now. Okay. One leg down at a time, please. Nice and safe. We're going to go to a hip twist level five now. We're going to really open the back and rotate through that spine. But again, if you need to, you can put your feet flat to the floor and still do the same hip twist movement. Take your hands out just slightly wider, not all the way up to a crucifix, again, just away from that mat midline. And again, tabletop one at a time, but this time, the knees and ankles are touching each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to take both knees across the body with the opposite shoulder staying on the floor before we bring it back in again. We're going to breathe out to twist and breathe in to come back. Breathe out to twist and breathe in to come back. And again, we're just going to go side to side. Now, if you've got the ball under your head or you're on the floor, doesn't matter. You can try to turn your head to the opposite way your knees are. Look up to the ceiling in between. So you're turning your head away from where the knees are going. And just go for two more of those. Nice stretch through the spine with that extra head twist if you want to. Bringing it back in. And again, one leg down at a time. I'm going to take the ball away now. 
So if you are with a cushion or a pillow, everybody put your head flat to the floor now, ready for some shoulder bridges. Now, if you do have any bands with you, now's the time I'd like you to pop them through your feet and pop it above the knees, okay? So we're gonna put that band, that resistance band, just above the knees. Now if you don't have a resistance band, you can still do exactly the same exercise, so please don't worry. Hands down by our sides. All right, we're gonna do some little gentle shoulder bridges to start off with. Hip distance apart, please, with those knees. So it's a backwards tilt, bum cheek squeeze, and a peel off the floor. Stop when the ribs feel like they're lifting up separately, and gently come down again. So that's our shoulder bridge, level one. To take us to level two, we just stretch one leg away before we put the foot down and roll back down to the floor. We're gonna go for level three to begin with, which is staying up. We stay up, our hips stay completely level as we alternate a stretch and down with each leg one at a time. And we wanna keep the thighs in line. That is harder. It feels like you wanna lift those legs in the air, but I don't want you to do that. We want to keep the hips steady, but balanced. Okay, so imagine you've got a spirit level, hip bone to hip bone, and you're really trying to maintain that line, keeping that bubble in the center. Now, if you want to take it harder, let's take those arms up, just floated, just rested there above your head, nothing else to worry about. With a breath on each movement, or just keeping it nice and neutral. After the last one, just peel yourself back down to the floor and give yourself a quick knee hug. And again, just massaging the lower back into the floor there. Just let yourself oh, rest off. Okay, we haven't quite finished the shoulder bridge just yet. And we're gonna incorporate a hip twist level one. That's where one knee rolls out to the side and come back in again. Okay, so let's start with our knees and ankles touching. Arms long by our sides. We're going to roll up into our shoulder bridge and stay comfortable at the top. We're going to take one knee and gently draw it away from the other, still keeping those hips level before we bring it back to the center. And again, breathing out to let the other knee roll out, breathing in to let it roll in. Really important to maintain our center. Really important to maintain that lovely pelvic floor connection. Again, just imagining drawing that pelvic floor up toward your belly button. And again, to make it harder, you can take those hands away. As you do those knee movements, look at your hands. If you see your hands rolling side to side, it might be that you're using your upper body to compensate. So be your own instructor here. Look at those hands, feel the hips with your mind. Are you keeping everything very still except for those knees? And our butts are just starting to burn right about now. So let's go for one more on each side. And again, gently roll yourself down to the floor with a quick knee hug. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna roll into our side now, guys and gals. Block is going to come back under our head, cushion, pillow, whatever's comfortable for you, with our knees bent to begin with. Now we're going to check that our feet are in line with our bottom, which is in line with our head. And that way we know we're in a nice line, ready for our plans. I'm going to stretch my underarm out and pop that ball there just for a bit of nice comfort. My top arm can do whatever it wants. We don't need to be worrying about balance just yet. So we're going to start with a clam level two, which is where both feet float just off the floor. Now note that I've still got the band here. Keep yours on if you've got one, but don't worry if you haven't. Just adds a bit more resistance this way. So the top knee lifts and gently lowers. That's the key one. Top knee lifts and gently lowers. And again, keep on going on a nice, easy breath pattern. We're going to set the center. I really want you to imagine you're trying to lift your belly button up and away from that floor with a nice soft rib cage. If you slide your hands down the tummy, 
Can you feel your ribs sticking out? We don't want that. What we want is a lovely soft rib, soft tummy, strong. And hold it up there. That should be about 10. From there, stretch the top leg. Bring the foot back, lower the knee. This is where we're really going to start burning out our butt and working quite hard through that torso as well. So breathing out, breathing in, and returning it back on that breath. Now, if you don't want to push the breath, that's fine. Just gently work through the movement, making sure you're keeping your breathing quite neutral, quite natural. Your focus, guys, has to be on that center. That's what's going to keep you safe and keep your spine in general good health. That's what Pilates is all about. That's what we're here for. Let me do three more of those. Again, your butt really should be burning right about now. Really in that back pocket, that back side pocket, if you're wearing a pair of jeans. Really high knee, keep it high as you stretch. That's my last one, and I can really feel that. We're gonna finish up on our side, on this side, with an arm opener. Again, really working through that chest, but also working on our oblique muscles. We've still got the ball or block or cushion underneath our head, but both arms go out in front this time. Knees stay exactly where you left them. Look at the top thumb. As you turn your head to the ceiling and look behind you, make sure you can always see that top thumb before you ring, bring it back to that midline. We're going to do just four more. Breathing out to open, breathing in to come back. Breathing out to open, breathing in to come back. And again, just really working through the chest, tuck the ribs down, one for luck, breathing out and breathing in. And let's rest there for a second. Whew. Now, put hand there, safely bring yourself up, spin your legs around. You're still with the band on some of you, so be careful and slow and gentle as you move. We'll start off with our leg movements again. So the block goes there, for me, mostly for comfort. And again, we're double checking our feet are in line with our bottom. Taking our legs up to our foot clam level two position as we lift up and gently down. And again, the breathing, it, however you want it to be. Your main point, your main focus, just maintaining our neutral position. Again, that's our safety net. That's what Pilates is. The ability to move different limbs with different movements whilst maintaining this really strong torso. Because remember, it's those innocuous movements that really hurt our back. It isn't really often when we're doing lots of kind of big lifting. It's repetitive stuff, digging, or even sometimes just sneezing, isn't it? So again, let's go for a couple more of those. Clam level two. One more, and then we're going to hold that knee up there, aren't we? Ready for our big stretch, heels touch, knee lower. It's really important that you keep this knee high. It's very easy that as soon as you take your foot away, that that knee kind of drops halfway away. You're not going to let that happen. Keep the knee lifted. Again, look at it. Double check. Be your own instructor. Now you've done it a few times, you know what to do. Look where the knee lands each time. Keep it there, okay? That's going to be your aim, and that's what makes it really difficult. That's what's going to burn your butt. Now, the whole way through this, guys, you must make sure that you're not rolling backwards with that hip. Keep your hip pointing forward. Relax those necks. Relax those shoulders. Finish there. Let's go to our arm openers. So, an upper back stretch. Working on those obliques, breathing in to prepare this time, breathing out to open. Now, I don't really mind what the breath pattern is here again for four more. Really, it's that you are only looking at that top thumb. Can you see it? Is the shoulder blade melted down your spine? Again, in that nice, safe position. Hopefully, the answer is a yes and rest yourself there. Now we're going to lay on our backs and do a quick stretch because we've really worked into those side glutes, those glute knees. So take the band off, get rid of it, don't want it for now. Just fold one leg over the other and pull them both into the chest. 
and we should get a nice stretch on that side pocket area into your hip, into that buff. It should be quite burny. Keep it there, you know, really find that stretch point and hold, 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 no bouncing. Just breathe through it, which is probably making your face change, but I like that. Switch those legs over. And again, drawing it into the chest, okay? Relax everything else. Relax the shoulders, relax the neck. But really pull that opposite knee into the chest and hold it on your breath. All right, that's fantastic, guys. Okay, we're going to come back down onto our side to safely turn us back over again. So this time, we're going to have no equipment, okay? So I'm going to get this foam roller out of the way as well. You can stay there next to the old bike. We're going to lay onto our tummies this time. So we're going to go for two exercises, one for the legs, one for the upper body. And we'll start with the legs, a little swimming level one. So fold the hands underneath your forehead. You are probably watching this, so just make sure the neck is comfortable if you are looking to one side. Stretch those legs out. We're going to make sure that our pelvis is in neutral, so rock it forward and backwards a couple of times, find the neutral and then hold it there. Give yourself a little bum cheek squeeze to really make sure they're going to stay there. Just stretch one leg up and rest it back down again. And then stretch the other and back down again. But your aim, ladies and gentlemen, is to not bend that knee. So let's really tense the thigh muscle. So the front of your thighs, those quadricep muscles, let's give them a tense because you can't really tense them very well and bend the knee at the same time. It's not about how high you can go. It's about how high you can get with control. So just take your time with it. And let's go for one more to each side. Then, with both thighs down, bend one knee. I'm just going to take just the thigh up and down. Quickly, for eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gently down. Now still, note that my back isn't moving anywhere, but nice control through my torso, nice control on my pelvic floor, okay? You're still going right, hopefully, for five more pulses, four, three, two, one, and again, just gently down. Now let's move to the upper body. You have to be having your hands your forehead directly on your hands right now as we do some full upper body lifts. Shoulders back, looking down, lift everything up as one unit. You're arching above your bra strap or where you are a heart rate monitor, not into that lower back. No pressure to be felt there, please, guys. And down. Breathe out to lift. Breathe into holes, expand that chest, breathe out to lower. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out to lift. Breathe in to hold, breathe out to lower. A little quicker now, breathe out to lift, breathe in to lower. If you want to make the last bit a little bit more tricky, let's get the leg involved. One leg up and down, and the other, and down. Four, with the breath please guys, three, two, make sure it's your bum working, and one. Hands under shoulders, push yourself up, four point kneel. Let's come back to a close four point kneel, hands just out in front. This time, rock the weight forward, so the hands and shoulders are in line again. Your back is high. But your bum is shifted forward, ready for a press up level two. So with elbows wide, get your breastbone to the floor and up in one movement. No body worming, please. Breathing out to lower, breathing into lift. And we'll go for six and five. Now I don't mind how low you go. It's all about keeping your spine in line, your neck in a lovely long neutral, but again, keeping that lower back position is key. Tuck the toes under to finish, 
walk your hands back. Now just sit back on your heels for me guys, just oh, so rest there. We're almost done, just some standing stretches to finish. Let those heels kind of melt towards the floor, almost push them down. Feel a little stretch up your Achilles tendon, maybe into your calf, that's good, we want that. And then rest that tension. Double check your feet are hip distance apart, give them a wiggle. Take your hands back, lift your bottom as you drop the head, look between those knees, and again, just stay there for a bit. Bend the knees as much as you want to maintain a safe and comfortable spine. And let's start to peel up. And again, it's one vertebrae at a time. Hands away from your legs. Shoulders back second to last. Head up last. And again, just come back into the middle. And again, probably watching me somewhere right about now. Let's go for a corkscrew. Big stretch. Big stretch out. Behind you, over the head, interlace the fingers, drop them down. Breathe in, shrug. Breathe out, rest. Breathe in, shrug. Breathe out, shoulders, then hands. With the heels this time, breathe in, breathe out. Rest. You know what? Whatever breath you want, shrug, heels up, release the shoulders, heels down. Hands up, heels up, hands down, heels down. Two full arm circles. And again, breathe in to stretch. Breathe out to release. Just two shoulder rolls. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Double check your feet. Double check the neutral pelvis. Double check the sensor with a soft rib cage. Release those shoulders. Release those hands. Stretch to the back of the neck. Bring that chin in. Hold yourself for a breath. And me, Christina from Fitworks, I want to say thank you so much for participating. And please, if you have any questions, comments, or go to the Fitworks Facebook or the Fitworks underscore UK Instagram to contact me. I'd love to answer your questions. Okay, take care now.